I'm going to do something today quite opposite and weird when it comes to messages. And we're going to have a full message here, short. But I'm not going to, very rarely am I going to say a word. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my smartphone, Google Assistant, help me today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it three questions. And that's it. So let's begin. Google, hey Google, is Valentine's Day pagan? According to History.com, origins of Valentine's Day, a pagan festival in February, celebrated at the Ides of February or February 15th, Lupercalia was a fertility festival dedicated to Faunus, the Roman god of agriculture, as well as to the Roman founders Romulus and Remus. Google, hey Google, what is fertility? Here's the definition of fertility, the quality of being fertile, productiveness. And you got your children involved in that? Did you hear her say or it say pagan fertility? And you got your children involved in that and you got that in your church. Hey, Google, is Easter pagan? According to ABC. Well, it turns out Easter actually began as a pagan festival celebrating spring in the Northern Hemisphere long before the advent of Christianity. Did you hear that? Pagan. Long before Christianity. Pagan. And you got it in your church celebration. Hey, Google. Is Christmas pagan? According to National Today, now, as Christmas applies to the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ, Christmas is decidedly not pagan. However, there are some differences of opinion when it comes to the selection of day of celebration. So, to celebrate Christmas, but, hey Google, December 25th, is it pagan? According to History.com, Although some evidence suggests that his birth may have occurred in the spring, why would shepherds be herding in the middle of winter? Pope Julius I chose December 25th. It is commonly believed that the church chose this date in an effort to adopt and absorb the traditions of the pagan Saturnalia festival. So did you hear that? The Pope chose the pagan festival for Christmas. So do you see why I call it the Baptist Catholic Church? Or the Catholic Baptist Church. Now this is all by Google. Fair use. I'm just asking my, my Google assistant a couple questions. And I'm putting it out there for you. Plain and simple. Thank you very much. And I hope I kicked your gods. And I hope you confess and repent of your sins. So God can forgive you and cleanse you.